Hello listeners, Liam here from Gaming on Linux, butting in for a moment to confess my absolute love for Slay the Spire. Released back in January this year, Slay the Spire is an absolutely magnificent game, one that's equal parts frustrating and exciting. It merges together a deck-building card game with roguelike gameplay to create something that you can easily lose an entire day with. That's happened to me. I've loaded it up and watched as day turns to night. It's absolutely crazy. You start by simply picking a character who comes with their own unique deck of cards. And these cards form your attack abilities, your power-ups, your defense. They basically control everything. And you travel through the spire by picking nodes on a map. And these could be a battle, a chance to rest, restore some health, perhaps upgrade a card. There might be a shop, a boss battle, or perhaps even an event where you need to make some choices. The obvious meat of the game, though, is, of course, the turn-based battles. What I especially like about the battles in Slay the Spire is how you know what's happening, as the game communicates really well. You can hover over an enemy, and it'll actually tell you what they're likely to do, and you can see how much health you're likely to lose as well, so it gives you lots of chances to plan ahead. And because it's turn-based, there's no rushing needed either, so you can take a leak, grab a drink, whatever. Another point that's great about Slay the Spire is how it has some fantastic modding support as well. The last time I looked at the Steam Workshop, there were some awesome extras to add in, like an entirely new character with full sets of cards. There's even a mod to change the way you actually play the game to make the cards more like poker, which is pretty amusing. Slay the Spire has actually started a bit of a trend, really. Since it came onto the scene, we've seen a lot more games come along with some sort of card-based mechanic. It's just been that popular. I fully expect to see a lot more like this. So to sum it up, it's a turn-based roguelike with some fantastic design work and gameplay that you can enjoy for hours thanks to the random generation. You can come back to it again and again and never get bored. I really do urge you to give Slay the Spire a try. You will not be sorry.